Hi, welcome along everyone today. I'm going to be looking at balancing central heat and radiators. Yes, I know some of you have got lots of trouble with some rads not heating up. And a lot of times, once you try the valve for air and there's no air in there, you wonder quite what's going wrong. There are a couple of things obviously to check, mainly if you one's dead completely, do check the thermostatic rad valve in and it's stuck. After that, it's probably down to system balancing, we call it. That's where all the radiators get an even spread of heat from the boiler. Now, I've done plenty of videos on balancing radiators, but they're all kind of a little bit crude in that they're not accurately done. They're just kind of worked in a way where you shut the valves down from the boiler and open them up as they get further and further away to try and crudely balance it all around. Well, there is a lot more of an accurate way of doing it using a thermometer, which is what I'm going to show you today. So, the first thing we're going to do is you're going to turn your central heating system off, make sure everything is stone cold, want it absolutely no heat in the system whatsoever. The next thing is to open all your radiator valves, that is, the thermostatic ones full on and on the other end of the radiator you'll have a lock shield valve they call it lock shield valve you'll have a pull off cap or it may have a screw in the top of the cap take it off and with pliers or a small spanner make sure that valve is fully open okay it's anti-clockwise so do that with every single radiator in the house so now you've got to take the order in which the radiators heat up once it's been turned on. Usually it's the rad nearest the boiler that gets hot first. Now if you've got a particularly big house, you may need someone to help you with this, to run around and help decide which ones are heating up first and the order in which they're, they're going. So then you need to take a note of the order that they're heating up. So once you have the order of heat, which ones are getting hot first and go right through to the last one. Now, we've got to turn it all off again. Yes, and let it all go stone cold once again. This is time to practice your yoga or whatever else you like to do while things are cooling down. <laughs> okay, until the next step. So next thing, heating back on. Go to the first radiator on your list that was the one that heated up the quickest it's probably the one closest to the boiler so you go there and you turn the lock shield valve that's the one the other end of the thermostatic one the lock shield one i was telling you about turn it all the way off when it's off just turn it back a quarter of a turn a tiniest little bit okay and then leave it like that right so when the system is nice and hot we're going to take the temperature reading now of one of the pipes leading to the first radiator that got hot so let's do that now right so we've opened our valve at the quarter turn it's our first one that heated up this is my little temperature probe from my little thermo here and touch this to the pipe and let it heat up Mo's having a little bark in the air, don't worry about it. She doesn't like the postman much these days. And we're going to take a reading, let this temperature go up. I'm not going to let you get bored watching this thing go up. Obviously, it's taking the heat reading of this side of the radiator. So, obviously, if you have thermostatic valves, more than likely this side. Make sure it's been fully opened, obviously. You want that one full, make sure you opened it obviously when you took the temperature reading on the other side that we've just done. Now we take a temperature reading this side with our probe on and we get a reading on the pipe leading out of the radiator. Or it could be in, it doesn't matter which way round it happens to be. There's no threat about that. Just leave it going until it stops moving. I won't bore you though with doing this. <laughs> Yes, all we need is a 12C difference between one pipe and the other. So basically you just keep adjusting that lock shield one until that 12C difference is made between the pipes. I know it's a little bit time consuming, but if you do this and do it to every single rad in the order that they heat it up, at the end of the long job, I know, but worth it if you want to save money and you want to maximize your heating, then it is worth doing. I've got one of these little stats, it cost me next to nothing from China, a couple of quid. But I'll give you a link to one that's a much better one 
there's a high quality one if you really want to do this and get your heating system properly balanced out as it should be to work with maximum efficiency. That 12C is the key to getting your rads balanced properly. As I say, you can do them crudely, like I've said on the other videos I've done roughly, which will work, but if you want to get them exactly right, that's the way to go. One of these little fellas and do it with the 12 C difference between the pipes. Okay, well that's it. That's the only one I'm going to tell you about today. And I think it's worth doing. In the long term you will gain and there's nothing to lose too much and the cost of money stats is not too bad. So there we are. Okay, all my stuff you know where to go, usual place, Derek and 33. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye bye.